Party people in the place to be. Live from 58 Dream Street, Greg and James beat them up. It's your favorite show on Twitch, where this guy, James, and this guy, Greg, play beat em ups. And not just any beat em up, every beat em up. And we're really taking that spirit seriously today. Got it by voices. Welcome. Party people in the kitchen tonight. Hey, around where we come from, that's a. That's a whole specific thing. That's just where everybody ends up. The kitchen party. Uh, my sister, when she went to graduate school in Quebec, said she said something about kitchen parties. And she said that the professor was like, well, hold on, what's that? And like they all were like, tell us about a kitchen party. And it's like, just, you just take the party into the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, that's just one place, one of the main places Nova Scotians think to congregate when they have company. But yeah, so today, well, we rounded out the uh, 80s beat em up in the arcade last week with the delightful Gang Wars and the somewhat less delightful Dynamite Ducks. And now, all that's left of the 80s is the home computer experience. The home computer experience, so yes. We we had found uh, four beat em ups. Yes, you had found. According yeah, Moby yeah. Games gave me four titles of home computer beat em ups uh, in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. And of course, they span multiple uh, platforms. The two that are left in our list here that you can see are the Atari ST and the Amstrad CPC, but there's also ones for Amiga. And and later, we'll have another Amiga game, the Motorhead game. Yeah, because it, it's a weird thing to be like, we have a term for this, for what we call it when we're having a party and then you realize everyone's in the kitchen. like, Because there's, there's no other thing you got to do. It just happens a lot. So it's like, it's like, you know, if you called your regular parties living room parties. Yeah. Or deck parties. I have heard people say we refer to deck parties before. Yeah, because that it's summer again. We can go outside. It's yeah. nice. That, there's a reason to get excited about that. And like, it's like if the party's in the kitchen. Like, yeah, the cold beers in the fridge right there. That's great. But it's just a party. It's, it's yeah. You don't need you don't need a Nova Scotian to explain the concept to you. <laughs> Yeah, so I, and I yet got one will on this stream. I got now. I got emulation for all three of these computers working, and in the course of so doing, determined that actually only two of the games that we had on our list mm -hmm. uh, met the met the terms. Yep. Your mom, welcome. Well, we've got three games officially on the agenda that also we believe are going to count as beat ups, but we're also going to check out two games that don't. Uh, one of which I already took off the list, so you can't see it on the screen right now. It's called Fallen Angel. Mm -hmm. And one called Freddy Hardest in <laughs> South Manhattan. Yes. Uh, so, Which is a great title. Yeah, but then we have the, from what I can tell, legitimate beat-em-ups, Subway Vigilante, playing on uh, multiple uncomfortable New York Vigilante associations. Yeah. Because the title Subway Vigilante makes you think of Bernie Goats. And as we'll see, when we put the box art up on the screen, uh, they were specifically going for a guardian angel vibe for yeah. the hero, which really, uh, I mean, in one sense, you got to say, like, the guardian angels are, like, still operate in New York with they are. impunity. So I guess, I guess you can't say that they're, like, a lawless <laughs> vigilante group. They're, they're a, a tacitly approved vigilante group that's that is, that's true that's it, accurate it's still weird though, to think that the there's a vigilante militia not quite like not a militia but like they have their own outfits and berets and stuff i don't it, know what classifies you as a militia i don't think you need much more than that i guess the tacitness does leave them in the lawless area hmm. they're they're like law adjacent yeah, that's great. That's know. that's a great term for it. Lodging. It, it's weird to me. I'm really glad we don't have any organizations here in Halifax that just get to go around and beat people up on on the news. <laughs> yeah, I, I did see that clip from a few weeks ago. And then it like and then it of course it turns out that it's not a person committing a crime, not that it's okay to beat someone up after you've detained them. And just nothing happens. It's like, oh, 
Don't worry about it, Curtis. Just continue your reign of terror over the streets of the city of New York for you know, your decades. Lo- My God, what a world. <laughs> Operation Clean Streets. That's true. Yeah, that, that will limit the access to guardians and angels that you have in your day-to-day life, God in yeah. my voices. Sticking to West Texas. Mm-hmm. Should do that. Uh, yeah, so we got Subway Vigilante, which is a beat-em-up. We've got Operation Clean Streets, or as it was originally known in France, because this, this is an independent French beat-em-up developed for the Atari ST in 1988. <laughs> uh, Manhattan Dealers. So we're... Uh, we're getting into, it, it feels like, and we'll see, we'll go into it with an open mind. It kind of feels like the PC beat-em-ups of the late 1980s are really going to rub our noses in the uncomfortable reactionary themes. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. And then, uh, because we thought it's, it's possible that all four, including Fallen Angel, which I've taken off here, all four of these are not going to sustain us for a full episode. We yeah. put one... We'll, we'll dip our toe into the non-notable 1990s in the arcade with Mug Smashers, a game which, in addition to having a title that does not translate to me as meaning anything, uh, I mean, it's about people who smash mugs, but what does that mean? Is it bar fighting? I guess bar fighting. Bar fighting, I imagine. Or maybe yeah. like mug, like, you know, oh, you got an ugly mug, pal, let me smash it for you. What's that old classic arcade game where you're pouring drinks for people? Tapper. And they made, yes, Tapper. Uh, it reminds me of that, just because I can imagine. Yeah, I, think, I can imagine that game breaking down into. I into do a think brawl. of Tapper every time I see the name Mug Smashers, but it's definitely not Tapper. Ha, huh. that yeah, it's yeah, it's, right. It's it's where Mugs, your brain goes. Mug Smashers is the game when when the bartender from Tapper hits his limit. Yeah, and he's like, you know what? It might not be the worst thing for you if you waited a few more minutes between your <laughs> beers, pal. Smash. <laughs> No, gotta keep yeah. Who keep knows? Going. Who knows? All right. Let's 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 jump in. So we're going to dive in. We're going to start, I guess, with Subway Vigilante. I used to be much better than I have been when I played it recently. Got it by voices. Like, I know that I've seen multiple levels in that game, but I couldn't clear the second screen when I was playing it like earlier this year or maybe last year. It's a hard game. It, it is, demands yeah. a lot of... Uh, a lot of really really good choices i played uh, some rupia tapper at uh halcon one year and i did not i yeah. did not get anywhere near the You've end of the first gotta stage. know like what to prioritize yeah because it will pick up on you really quickly which i suppose is probably what, similar to what it's like working in a busy bar okay so subway vigilante mm-hmm. for the amstrad cpc let's I'm committed, guided by voices, to always being good at reflex heavy games, but we'll see if that actually. We'll see if that holds uh, as the years continue to drag. Yeah, who knows? I certainly was not great at Super Mario Maker 2 Acorn. uh, What do they call it? Acorn Parkour. Don't touch the ground again after the first time you leave it. Sounds like the kind of game. I, I mean, I haven't played it yet, but sounds like the kind of game you can do that with. That Sounds Baldur's like the game. kind of game that people will be finding things in for a long, long time. Okay, so the Amstrad Color PC. Amazing. All right. So I got to work out. Yeah, there's a lot more steps to these ones than just digging in the main. They're way yeah, they're trickier Ooh. in that regard. Okay, so I fired up the emulator. I'm going to capture the window. Getting a slight buzz from it. Do you hear that? No. Okay. Maybe it was just the earphones clicking on. There we go. All right. Let's center this. We've got the computer. We have the emulator. Now, what do we do? Change disk? That seems like the thing to do. Oh, there was definitely a buzz. It just clicked off. Okay. Subway Vigilante. I mean, that's what we want to play. Okay. 
Okay. Do, 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 we should have practiced do, do, do. this one again Probably, before yeah. starting up because I know I had it. I you knew, had the other I knew one. Knew what going. to do. Drive A. Insert disc. Subway was on. Okay, the disc is in. Is it as simple as just resetting? That'd be great. That would be great. We'd love to see it. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Um, Note the the DOS directory command doesn't work. Run. Ready. Ready. A. Syntax error. A. Okay. <laughs> Greg. You had this before, you said. I I played this game, so you I played made, this game. I was able to make this work, but hold on. The drive is in. It's just I don't remember the command. Basically, is the problem. Okay. Okay, so it's the Amstad CPC. Yeah. I think that's the idea. Gotta buy voices. I think that's roughly what it was. Okay. Do do do. Insert the disk. Catalog. Uh, cat. Cat is the directory command. It's like catalog. There we go. There you go. And then, is it just subway? Did I really just have to spell it correctly and press enter? No. Let me just finish reading. <laughs> it's like, ah, I've got it from here. <laughs> Load subway? Ah, no, it is run. It's just then you have to use. No. I need to get. Remember computers used to make you solve puzzles before you could do anything? Well, this is not a puzzle. Like, if I was a regular user of the Amstrad CPC, mm -hmm. I would just know. Here we go. I need what I need are quotation marks, but those aren't per the keyboard's not the same. What if it is just space, but I have to type BAS? I have to type the file extension. No, nope. you need quotation marks. Okay, back to this for a moment. <laughs> Did it say how? Forgive us as we as we figure this yeah. out. We will. Okay. Uh, All I need to know, Greg, is the quote. What? Where do the quotation marks map in Win Ape? Found them. Oh, here we go. There we go. It's running. All right. Let's play Partie Normale. Okay. Players premiere present Subway Vigilante. Okay. All right. How's the volume level, folks? Yeah, let us know if this is a little loud. It seems a little loud. Music this is, is way, way too, too loud. loud. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Let's turn this down, James. How's that? Like thirty percent at least. Okay, music's pretty good. I noticed that the uh, the title screen graphic does not convey anything. This looks like if you ask Gary Gygax to draw a martial artist. Yeah. This looks like <laughs> like one D and D monster manual. Okay, well, I'll press two for joystick one. 
And the game launches. It is a renegade clone. It is dead silent when you are actually playing. Oh, the hit sound effects. Good. Okay, so I have a kick. Do you have a punch? I do. I've got a jump kick. But I don't appear to have any other move. Wow. Well, Greg, do you want to look up a picture of the Amstrad CPC joystick and tell me if it had more than one button? Because I know I'm pretty sure the Amiga was only a one button. Uh, the CPC had two buttons. It had a, it had a control pad and two buttons. Ooh, okay. Wait, but there's there's multiples here. No, it looks like two buttons on all of them. Okay. Well, hold on then. I'll give up all of my current progress. Yeah, oh. these graphics are. I'll reset for now. I gotta say, the uh, the color nature of the Amstrad yeah. CPC really doesn't come in as much as you might think. Doesn't really come into play. Okay. Input, do do, do enable joystick, joystick, fire one. Oh, this used to be, here we go, hold on. Okay. We can, if nothing else, test the the joystick mapping. Do you remember where? Was the... it three? Was it two? It was two. It was two. Yeah, there was a lot of. There, yes, very much, or just like. Especially with the home computers and a lot of the, especially the ones with single button joysticks, it's like they just never thought about the possibilities of what you might do in a game. Mm -hmm. Is it running? Did I not hit enter? That was the problem. Just gotta, just gotta hit that enter button. Okay, so the plus and the period on the numpad. Yeah. Are the are the alternate mappings for the fire buttons? So could you press those and see if they do something? The plus and the minus? The plus and the period. No, neither do anything. Press the five? No. Nope. Oh, so even the standard alternative isn't actually set up. So it still doesn't seem like there is anything to this. I think you probably just have a kick. The other button might have been like, okay, well, you killed him. Uh, his body remains. Nope, he's getting back up. Yeah, he's not done yet. Okay. What this... kind of shirts are these guys wearing? These not... guys, these guys are shirtless. Yeah. But they are definitely pale Frenchmen. So, among is... other things, that this game is not actually cloned from Renegade. Uh, is mounting? Like uh, basically any moves. There's, as far as we can tell, there's a jump kick. And there's a kick. And the the one high yeah. kick. And another thing that makes me think this is probably the only move is that it's the only thing that the enemies are doing. It's yeah. the exact same high kick. There is no art or joy in this. No, this is like... This... Oh, there's a version for the... Maybe we'll have to. Oh yeah. We'll have to try this on other platforms and see if maybe just the Amstrad CPC was extremely limited. Well, I mean, they've got blue and red in the health bar situation here. I guess I'm more interested in seeing if there's like anything to do in the game. If there's music or emotion. Oh hey! Hey, you threw I a threw punch. a punch. I threw a punch. How did you do that? Up. Uh, and button. Wait, no. Up, forward, and button. Yeah, this move, this game has combo moves. Well, man alive, this is the most 
devoid game we've played. This is certainly there one of the dullest nothing. gaming experiences I've ever ever had in my life. This is the kind of game they would play on The Simpsons to mock dull games. Like, there is nothing to this. <laughs> oh, they only started throwing punches after I showed After them. you did, yeah. They're just you taught them meat. how to throw punches. They're learning on the fly. But my goodness, I, I still, I want to know. There, oh, okay. Hey, new, okay. I was going to say, they did not ape having two kinds of enemies, but they did ape the bosses just is waiting, although we couldn't see them, and joins when you've beaten X number of goons. So yes, this game is just renegade. Like, there's no... Yeah, I mean, this is blatant. There's no coincidental overlap here. This is the... This, this is, is the, the Ketsukua Kunyokan by way of... Uh, France. The, as, like, the absolute minimum of, of joy that you could possibly experience while playing a video game. I said France. Yeah. Well, just you wait, because I didn't play much of it, but Operation Clean Streets, also French. Uh, it has a certain joie de vivre. <laughs> hey, I just did a headbutt, I, I think. Yeah, you did. How? You keep discovering these new moves. Yes. I mean, sure. Yep. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to argue that. But <laughs> and I, I do like that our character in the game is not a uh, literal guardian angel. I've okay. been defeated. That's one of your lives. You have four of them. Oh, but the stage resets. Oh my god. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, thank goodness I have four lives. You, you need four actual lives to make it through. <laughs> Oh my god, I never realized just... Well, no, I, that's not true. I, I know how important video, like music is to to video games. Oh, just but you... this just, is... Just wait till we're playing that Jalico Super Nintendo game where oh. for some reason when they localized it, they stripped out all the music. That is a, is a case where like... Because like this, like, yes, the music would add something here, but not... Like, it couldn't add that much. Because it wouldn't make the game good. Deathly dull. But, but it oh, would, yeah. It would make me not, like, Jay, I had a long day at work, James. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have a lot to do today. <laughs> there was a lady who didn't understand how, how, how prepaid MasterCards work. Like, <laughs> I don't have time hey, for this. I just mounted to my think. Are you or sure you didn't just fall on top of them? That's the thing. I might have just been getting kicked in the back of the head. Well, credit to them for actually having a move set here. Oh, he's dead. So you uh, couldn't have, you couldn't have mounted him even if you wanted to. I'm pretty I sure it was just not a man. I think yeah. I was just kicked in the back of the head at just the right time. Like that. Yes, sir. Thank you. So they aped like hey, there's a there's a back elbow. I don't understand how you're doing any of this. They're all based on hit the button while holding a certain direction. There's nothing else to any of them. From what I saw, one of the joysticks, and I'm not, I, again, it was hard to, there were a lot of Amstrads. One of the joysticks seems to be a joystick and then two buttons in the base of the joystick. So, not a... <laughs> no, just like hideous, hideous controller designs. Yeah. This is a 1988 game. Yeah. This so is, you know what? This is a ripoff of a game that has terrific music. <laughs> also, are they respawning the regular goons? So that I can't actually fight it down? Shit. <laughs> oh, man. I want them to experience the... I... <laughs> the uh, I just want to know. Oh, maybe it did, but no, that doesn't make sense because Renegade wasn't out. Almost Wait, what if we what if we've just yeah. uncovered <laughs> that Cuneo is actually a ripoff of Subway Vigilante? Oh man. So yeah. For one thing, if you're going to, I guess there is the back elbow. 
which is not nearly as good of a rear defensive move as the straight kick yeah. from Renegade. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, too. Oh. Boom, I love that dude in the kidneys. Yeah, this, this definitely seems like a case of... of um, Main control... Like a, a I'm trying to look up some information about this A programming exercise getting out of hand. Like you're, you're teaching yourself to code, <laughs> and then you're like, you know what, why don't I just sell it? Why don't I just put it on the market? It's the home computer market in the late 80s. Anything could happen. Holy smokes. Yeah, man alive. And yet I like I really want to know if there's anything beyond the like is the second level just a subway? Is there at least a new enemy type? Is there even a second level? I really don't feel like there is. I feel like this is the sort of game where you beat this one thing and then And then you do it again. And then maybe you do it again. maybe on a higher difficulty setting. Although, honestly, even that, I'm kind of skeptical. Yeah, there can't, like, if more than one person had worked on this, then it's completely inexcusable. And if one person worked on it, it doesn't make it, like, it's not impressive that they did this. And it's actually kind of scummy that they sold it to people for money. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Here's my dude. Movie games. Yeah, this was also released for the Commodore 64. Yep. And the it. BBC Micro, as well as the Electron and the ZX Spectrum. Man. Uh. I want to get this guy it does say once a station is cleared of bad guys move on to another location to do your vigilante duty which makes it sound like like I, eh. every stage is a station and i I'm died looking, again i'm looking I at some, some images hits. here yeah and this seems to be the least colorful version of it for the amstrad cpc mm -hmm. the commodore 64 version seems to be much more visually striking. Oh, I've unlocked the secret of the fighting. What's that? The ZX. The ZX. The old ZX Spectrum. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, not a great game. Well, yeah, you know no. What? Once I realized once, that once you... exploring the moves and actually moving your character around... Yeah, thanks, guy, my voice is... It's bad strategy. No. Okay, well... What's our rule, Greg? At least four continues? <laughs> I think the rule is, is if you lose this last lot in life, we put this in the goon tier and move on. Yeah, this is definitely... This is goon. This is... This is really goon. It's not bad in the same way some of the games in Goon is bad. Where I don't think it's really failed at its like goal, but it has failed at being fun in any way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's really fa like its goal was to rip off Renegade, and, and I it suppose succeed it, it succeeded, succeeded. But like, Renegade is is an all time classic game. Yeah. This is not. No. Okay, I have more help than I've ever had when this jerk comes out. Ah. There you go. Okay. He moves around more. Oh, oh God. There's two of them. There's two of them. Okay, so it's, there is, there's so gotta be the some boss. kind of limit then. Some sort of limit break? Oh my goodness. I don't know. This is, I think this is one of those 
sunk cost fallacy things and yet we put so much into it already it'd be foolish to just stop now no it wouldn't Lose it, it would be costs. sensible on a stream broadcast to the internet we have we have been playing this game with no sound <laughs> Oh ho! Please spoil us, got it, my voice. I'm is. into this sentence. I gotta know. Okay, well you. Hey, I beat one of the guys. You did, yeah. Congratulations. Do you feel accomplished? No. No, of course I feel not. Nothing. Ten minutes to complete. Well, that person was uh was better than me. <laughs> at this game I've gotten more than 10 minutes out of it but not not in a good way like they're not good minutes no <laughs> and there's so many of them yeah why would you make your game like this yeah maybe it is just one level and then you just it just reloads and it's the same level okay 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 you don't want to have a try, Greg? No, I'm good. Okay, the Amstrad CPC. <laughs> never again. Well, I, I mean, never again, yes, because there is no other beat-em-up. There's no more, yeah. In our list, uh, it, it is I'm a beat -em -up. I'm not saying there's necessarily not good games for that system. No. Who's to say? Well, I will say that the CRPG addict has also suggested that perhaps every RPG on the Amstrad CPC was also a piece of shit. Okay. So... <laughs> Maybe, maybe there isn't. Maybe. I don't know. I think more uh, more work went into the cover So art. much more work went into the cover more. art. Is and it promises the idea so that we're going gonna to slam a dude's head in a subway door. I do not believe that those subway doors ever open. Nope. Or that anything ever happens. I hate this game. Goon Tier. Goon Tier. Players Premier. Yeah, well, Premier what? It's got Prince of Persia, but I bet it has a crummy, sluggish version of Prince of Persia. Who knows? All right. Uh, well, that was the only CPC game on the list. Okay. So, let's head towards the Amiga. And we don't have any be beat-em-ups we can play on the Amiga that are actually no. going to load for us. So, we're going to check out a game that is misclassified on Moby Games uh, as being an Amiga game. Greg, we'll let you play this one. Okay. Uh, we're going to quickly check out Fallen Angel. Yes. The uh, the theme of subway violence uh, was a game called Barbarian. Cool. I mean, it's a cool name for a game. Yeah. Just Barbarian. Okay. Well, turn that off. Here we go. All right. So now... We're using a new system. Yeah. But what is it called? FSUAE is the name of the emulator. And we're using the FSUAE launcher app. So thanks to the person who wrote that. So I didn't need to figure out how to do this thing from like a command prompt. All right. So we're just checking out a game that was mischaracterized as a beat-em-up. Yeah. James has a very, I wouldn't say strict definition of beat em up, but stricter, I think, than the, the general consensus. Well, here's the thing. I don't tolerate any of this silliness where people just say any game where there's punching is a beat em up. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Does Barbarian it, sounds awesome. The Ultimate Warrior does not. It's a one or two player fighting game. Okay. Well, we're going to have to look into that. A barbarian themed fighting game? I could get behind that. We can make this a little bigger. We certainly can. Yeah. And if I Oop. send it backwards behind us, which I will. There we've, you go. We've got some like negative space. Behind me too. Oh, it's not behind you yet. How many layers are there, James? There. Okay. 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 Well, that sounds very promising. 
That sounds sounds like they had their finger on the pulse of what what young boys whose parents had bought them home computers wanted. Women in chainmail bikinis. All right. Good. So after that lovely crack screen, we're getting some simulation of loading a game. Here we go. The emulator might actually be struggling to load by properly emulating. Who knows? I just feel like modern laptops hey. make this sound. Obviously, like, Fallen Angel already gave us the, the hint, but I hadn't thought about the fact this guy is explicitly wearing... It's not a Guardian Angel beret. No, but it's, it's a beret. Red, but it is supposed to. But we've got a lot of colors going on. In theory, that should be the home PC advantage, really. Okay. So which button is fire, James? Uh, I think it's just your button one, basically. A? Yeah. Nope. One? Nothing. Have you tried this one? No? Yeah, James, you just try watched me try that one. I just tried no, I didn't, them No, I didn't see you try that one. Okay. <laughs> it's not working. Why, though? Why, though? Oh, we clicked on the window. Yeah, which is what we have to do, but hold on. Have you tried this one? I did, kind of my voice, because you wouldn't believe it, but I tried all the buttons. Oh. Okay. It worked when I clicked. You are, you are now? now flying into Heathrow Airport. So despite the uh, Guardian Angels of New York City iconography. But we're flying, so maybe we're yeah, a Guardian Angel going to London. Yeah. Because in theory, the home computer advantage over at least the home console at this stage should be more colors. It certainly isn't. Um... Okay. I've got no control. Is this the way? There's, there's your problem. Yeah. You're just using the wrong joystick. You handed me this joystick. Well, I assumed it, the, the, I don't know why one emulator picked one joystick as joystick one. So this game is a Kung Fu Master ripoff. It doesn't have huggers, but otherwise, it's very, quite clearly, Kung Fu Master. Yeah. Yeah, like the subway says underground on it, so we know we're in England with the Woodside Station. Okay, you have to hit these simultaneously. Man, that, that is not a, a graceful... Uh, jump kick. No. This guy does not look like a trained martial artist. He looks like a meathead Staten Island dad who just decided to start beating people up. What I found... So this is another game where we have a single button that then does different moves for us when combined with the different directions on the eight directional joystick. He knows how to, you know uses walk for the ladies he just doesn't quite have the this one at least has a lot more life than the last one we played i actually really like this walk cycle like the animation i think the there's colors, a lot of frames i think the colors are really nice yeah, I like, the I like Amiga the, was capable of some nice graphics. Yeah, I like for the sure. I like the thick black lines. Uh, let's go to Finchley Central. I don't know how much the soundtrack of this one is even coming through in the mix. It's pretty low for us, but it's there. It's pretty low, but it's like a calming amount of love. You like? I like. I like it. It is. It is it's very really just basic. A beat. It's yeah, just it's a, a beat. simple beat. Yeah, one sec, Greg. What? Actually, I'll just let you go. I was gonna go change the volume level, but you're on a roll. I don't know how much of a roll I'm on. Like, it is. It, yeah, and it's probably okay. You're not really missing anything. Cause it's really just do 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 kind of just like a little bit of bass, a little bit of drums. But it's something. So you pick up a... This happened when we were testing the game. I 
picked up a piece of paper that says air on it. I don't know what that means or what it does. Great. That's about how audible it is for us. I found when I was playing this game, Greg, I don't know how you're finding, that as long as they're only coming from one direction... Oh, you're fine. You, yeah. you will yeah. never take a hit as long as you just keep on punching. Game over. You want to have another go at it? I... Yeah. Might as well. You know, let's give me one more, and then we'll call it quits See on See if you can beat Angels. Dave Hunt's highest score. But yeah, like this is not a beat up so it's totally not germane to our purpose. But it's so much more, it's so significantly more fun than a Subway Vigilante. I think you are supposed to be an American coming to London. Yeah. Because we're he, flying into he read about crime. Heathrow's the international airport. Yeah, you read about crime on the underground. You're like, we know how to deal with that here in America. Yeah. You just go and beat them up. Doesn't matter if they're, uh, you know, a bloke with a knife or, or a bloke with an umbrella. You'll definitely get further this time. It's hard not to think of Bernie Gates. Goats. No, of course. Even even as these characters are very explicitly not shooting unarmed kids. No. No, very, very like, explicitly. They're just walking around. Beating up other dudes who are about as as big and strong as yourself. Some of whom are barefoot, which is not how I would want to be walking along around on the filthy, filthy underground. There are so many cans. You're going to cut your foot wide open. And for that matter, just the, the dropped knives of all the unconscious dudes on the ground. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Finchley again because I really don't think there's a difference. He hates these cans! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. This is something. He's got like, I know the, the, the sort of look is also indicative of the the fallen angels went with him for a reason but he's sort of taken off the iconic fallen angels jacket which has made him look more like a the uh, ones in real life like don't call themselves guy. the fallen angels so he's the guardian angels i imagine yeah i want to find out what that slip of paper that says air on it does like is that something like will we get a little cut screen where he looks at it and he's like what does it mean yeah, I think I have to get out of this level before we find Hey, there's dead Kennedy's like graffiti. <laughs> yeah, what does the graffiti say? Uh, Punk well, rule is that one. Above above underground, it just says mods. So that's been there since the 60s. <laughs> yeah, they have not cleaned. It's just accumulated. And it, so, it, like, the graffiti problem is not as rampant as it seems. Like... You got the mods graffiti from the 60s. Someone came Did by and the said, subways punk in rule in England the 70s. look like this in the 80s? I do not believe so. But... This feels very American. Well, I mean, what we've definitely got here is like Damn. a British kid or like a small British team imitating both gameplay and uh, cultural touchstones from American games. Like, except for the suit guy with the umbrella. They really didn't go all out trying to have a... British feel. And the one piece of graffiti that says mods. Okay, well, we're just moving on. I can go back to Woodside. Uh... Okay. So and there are, there's something to it. I think they're all just the same looking level. Yeah, they all look identical. Well. 
Well, I've got two more lives. Get, yeah, just just keep see what happens. Something will happen, or or that. There's, well, well, that's, there's no there's guarantee. No guarantee. That, no. Yeah. No, there's no reason to think that that that's true. There is a time limit, and it seems to be a whole game time limit. I don't think it's refilling. Actually, I could be wrong. Yeah, like doing the jump kick is just asking to take a bunch of hits. Really, the only uh, only smart way to fight is continual punching and not having a guy behind you, basically. Yeah, but it's impossible to not have a guy behind you. No, you, you really don't get a choice in that. It's just like, can you defeat the guy coming at you no. quickly enough? Well, I'm done. Yeah. Not a beat, not a beat him up by our definition. No, it's fine. More of a beat him up, I think. More approaching a beat em up than Kung, the original Kung Fu, but still yep. not a beat em up. Still closer, it's closer to Kung Fu Master than Double Dragon or Renegade. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the Amiga for now. We'll be back for the Motorhead game in the mid '90s. We were Motorhead. gonna just knock them all out and do all the home computer ones, but I couldn't get it working. Uh, or rather, I could get it working, but we couldn't control it. Like we couldn't start it. We only get to the title screen. So now. I'm definitely intrigued to see the Motorhead game when it comes. All right, now we are heading. Where are we heading, James? Let's see. Let's find out. We're heading. To Operation Clean Streets, a.k.a. Manhattan Dealers. Yeah, so this game was released. This is, for, this is the first game from the French studio Silmaril, which... Uh, is kind of surprising when you think about it. If you're going to call your development studio Silmarils, uh, why would your first game be a, be an urban beat em up? I don't know. This was released for the Amiga and I couldn't get it running there, but I got the Atari ST version of the French original. So we're playing mm. Manhattan Dealers, uh, not Operation Clean Streets. It is the same. It's the exact same game. Did you play any of the 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 fantasy games? No, but I figured they must eventually have had them. Yeah, I mean they they are named after JRL tokens. What are some of their game names? Crystals of Aboria, a medieval fantasy role playing game. Yeah, the, and the Ishaw series. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the, the CRPG Ish addict. I've read about all of those. Notoriously impossible game. Oh, Crystal of a, Be a, a Boria is actually considered like it precedes Issa both chronologically and by its gameplay, but they're sort of part of the same series. And there's four Isha games. Manhattan Dealers is in fact their first game. Uh, it took them three years to release Crystal of a Boria. It's very possible that uh, they were just working on these things, you know, and. It takes a long time to, to get a... Oh, hey! The, their final game was a, in, a licensed 2003 Inspector Gadget game. Huh. Not based on the, Brod the Broderick movie. It, it, it was based on the 1983 Inspector Gadget cartoon. Okay. Gotta remember how this works. Who? Yeah. Uh, you know my my because this has me right in the thing like yeah. this is obviously the actual computer emulator, but how did I okay there was a way to insert disk and stuff like that. My very first computer was a computer like this, and uh, all me and my sister did on it really because it didn't have the internet uh, was use paint. Uh -huh. We would take turns just using paint to, to do, to make things, and ex didn't just do that. Like, I had the spray paint tool. Uh, it took us... You created a cocktail based on a Silmaril game. Uh, uh, tell me more, I'm intrigued. Okay, we need this to do... I mean, you can create a cocktail out of anything. <laughs> All you need... Oh yeah, I'm seeing that game here. It is a uh, an action adventure game. It seems to be 
based on exploring a sort of Mayan temple. With a ah. sort of... Here we go. Okay, so here I go. Floppy disks. Browse. It seamlessly transitions between a graphic animated adventure game and a Dark Jeep Rum. driving simulator. Mezcal, pineapple juice, vanilla yep. tin, lime juice, two dashes, St. Elizabeth's allspice, dram, garnish with pineapple sliced cherries. Yeah. That sounds good. It makes sense. It's tropical. The mezcal gives it a gives it a, a Mexicana feel. Right. You know what? Before we go on to clean streets, let's get our other kung fu master clone out of the way. Freddy Hottest. In South Manhattan. Definitely the game with the best title. It's a great title. I like this title a lot. And then once it's in, I can open up the disc. And then it's... <laughs> Do you want to play Freddy or Hottest? <laughs> I think Freddy... Oh, no. Hold on. Is either of those the actual game? No. No. Who? Is it audio? There it is. There we go. Freddy.perg, which I assume is program. No, it's preg. Maybe it is. Yeah. Good stuff. Good so stuff. I think at this point, we're just we're playing the waiting we're just, game. We're playing the waiting game, waiting to see what happens. Waiting to see what Freddy Hottest is all about. Is Freddy Hottest a name? Like, is, is that like his full name is Freddy Hottest? First name Freddy? Or, or, or is it an, a description of him? Like Freddy yeah. Hardest in South Manhattan? Yeah. I think he's Freddy Hardest. But... Do you think he's, his name is Freddy, Frederick Hottest? Oh, you made a sound. You made two sounds. Yep. Okay. That button makes a sound. Okay. Come on now. Fred E. Hardest, yeah. yeah this is awesome. Do you know what I learned just before the stream that uh, Billy E. Williams' full name is William December December Williams Jr.? Immensely frustrating that I had this working, but okay. At the same time, it was not a beat em up, so. I'll try one more time. Hope, uh, I certainly hope Clean Streets will still work. What's this now? Oh, right, that's just the boot screen. Here it comes, loading up. F12. Floppy disk. Floppy disks. Browse. Up one level, please. Ready, Ready hardest. hardest. Put it in. Back to main menu. Okay. Just try get it. once more. Because again, it's not a beat up. And it also wasn't very good. Yeah, you played this some before. I played stream? it just enough. Because as I played it, I was like, okay, this is just kung fu. Um, yeah, it does not seem to be working. Well, hold on. Let's just. Yeah, back in the day, things used to take time. Because people led boring lives where not a lot of stuff happened. You were more tolerant of, of something not immediately happening. Mm -hmm. Whereas now I'm like, God, what show us on Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was gaining new knowledge. The thing is, too, is that we have access to so much. We should like, do. Like back in the day, maybe like you had like a shelf of books in your house and whatever was currently on TV. Okay. And that was it. That's if all you had access switches. to in the whole world. So if you wanted to do anything. Will the thing restart or anything? No, probably not. No. Okay. Can I, will this reset the machine? Can sure it did. reset machine? Sure does. I was hopeful. Yeah. It boots. My other disc is in, right? Does boot. Yes. And if I recall correctly, it's actually 42crew.program that launches the game. 
That makes and sense. if you go down to the Operation Clean Streets program, it just launches an endless like crack screen from the crackers. <laughs> Here we go. This is something. So we got to make sure this is audible in the mix because a little digitized voice in there. So for whatever reason, yeah. Yeah, so you can hear <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> they landed on <laughs> Oh Susanna. Yep. <laughs> oh Susanna, is it audible? Susanna, would you come to me? Cause I come to Alabama with a banjo on my knee. <laughs> okay, so then. Oh, I, I have control. Ah, all right. See, hold on. Let it all load up. Okay. And then choose Jouer. I didn't choose anything. Ah, oh, because you you queued up by mashing the buttons. Oh, I didn't mash anything. I just hit the the, the uh, joystick. Okay. Well, you gotta. I am the okay. I'm the player. It was just taking forever to register my presses. All uh... right. So. You cannot walk backwards. Change direction, James. Hold on, I know, but hold on. Oh yeah, no, this is this is the soundtrack of this game. Yeah, like when I first loaded it up to try to get it working, I also figured this must be the crack screen music. No, <laughs> no, apparently the the French developers of the game were just like you know. Yeah. Freddie Hottest little icon down in the corner looks a lot like Matt Smith, the actor who played the Eleventh Doctor. Yeah, that's Harry, not not Freddie Harris. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. He's apparently the character's name is actually Dirty Harry, which is stupid. Amazing. So the unique control scheme for this game, it's also single button, and if you hold the button, you have to hold the button down. And then the joystick directions become attacks. Or turning around. It occurs to me I could have said Matt Smith from the show that he's currently in. So is... notice how I beat this guy up and he drops the crack. Yeah. Wait, and then... Did you pick up his crack? There, I got yeah. the crack. And then, it, see, Harry now has three kilos. And the dealers have 15 kilos. Yeah, whereas they started with 18. All right. So we have, like, we have a quest here. It's also non-linear. And, and then then you know everything I know about the game, because this is as far as I went with it. But I can go that way, or... Go down there, where it says go down hard. Here. Yeah, no, that does look hot. That's the guy with the chainsaw, James. Yeah, this is serious stuff. Hey, a unique falling down sprite for uh, if their backs land against a, an object. So yeah, the definitely. Uh, I mean, they they did. Like, give some thought to the sound design here. But not enough thought, because they thought, you know, we should have a sound for the chainsaw and not we'll like, cut old, oh, is, Susanna, this, though. is this unbearable? Holy like, shit! <laughs> Guys, if this is too loud, let us know. It's holy hell. <laughs> Come on, just die. <laughs> That's that's exactly what it sounds like, which I suppose is also I, it's an engine, it's a primitive engine sound effect in a video game, exactly like pole position, except just uh, I mean, worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's terrible. Come on. Why won't you die? Why can't you fall on your chainsaw? At 
least he never attacks me. He, he's attacked with it multiple times. You just don't take very much damage from it. Okay. Okay, get his get his drugs. Boom. There you he go. He had four kilos on him. Of course he did. He had a chainsaw. Okay. Well. Do a sexy backwards walk. A <laughs> long national life is over. And boom. Hey! The sound of the streets. <laughs> the sound of the streets. Watch out, he throws his knife. There you go. Oh. Punch him to the music, James! <laughs> oh, Susanna! Hold on, I don't want to... Ah! Whoa, oh, wow. wow. Almost killed me. That took a And hit. I dropped all my crack. I think that did kill... No, you got back up. I got back up, and now this guy has all the crack. Ha. Get out of the way! I dropped all my crack! Screw you, man. What the hell? Catch Zork! Wait. Are you supposed to go pick that up? Do you kick him back or what? Whoa! And we broke the game. Okay. Okay, well, James, you've got to kill it. There you go. You can't just let that play for the internet. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. This is a... Not okay. That I, not that viewers love more than just terrible sound. Listen, anyone who turned in, tuned in for the beating him up on your home computer episode, uh, like, there's a degree to which you signed up for something <laughs> here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well. I like how it's not linear. Oh, I oops, like... Sentences. It's, like... It's not good. It's not Don't good. get me wrong. It's... it's listen, not. it's but, not good. But... But it's... it's compelling. It's trying something. It's really... Putting in, like... Some sort of work, like it's yeah. it's clear that these people thought they were doing something. Yeah, um, like this is a game. They had an idea for a game. Yeah, they wanted to do some things. Yeah, the graphics are pretty good. The basic idea of like actually beating down drug dealers to steal back the crack, that's interesting. But how do we know this game doesn't just end with him doing eighteen kilograms of cocaine? I don't know, Greg. Give it a try. And then we'll go to our palate cleanser of Mug Smashers. Oh, you just gotta wait for a thousand years. Manhattan Dillers. Just in case you doubted, this was an authentic French game. <laughs> that's, the, that's the final credits. Yeah. It's just this guy just like running into the wall in his home over and over. <laughs> running through the wall. Jeez. Alright. Um, Here you go. go. Jouer. Niveau. Demo. Joystick. Jou I believe that's pronounced joystick. Eli. Well, Listen, going. I didn't do the best in French class, but I believe it's pronounced joystick. <laughs> All right. So to turn around, hold the action button, and then press the direction that's behind you. Hold the action button down, and then just use the joystick to attack. Hold the action button down and... Oh, hey! You've discovered the third direction. The third song as well. Oh, we've got some... Or is that supposed to be like a little fence? 
I think it is supposed to be like a little fat. I don't know, it's not, it doesn't seem to be an obstacle. Why are these people dragging so many bricks up to their apartments? I mean, I, obviously it's so they can throw the man at people, but man. Okay, so how do I... Crouch, so hold action, press down, and then while you're crouched, release and press action again. I think. I don't think I'm on the drugs, hold on. There, you got it. Whoa, the dealers in this game had 39 kilograms when you started. Is it random? Is this a roguelike? Come on, turn around. Hey, you found the uh, the lady of the evening from the from the title screen. And she's got a real lazy outfit. And I don't mean that the developers were lazy. <laughs> oh, Susanna herself. <laughs> oh, yeah, she goes. It's harder to pick up drugs than you think. Hey, she had Holy a lot of smokes. crack. John. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Greg. Okay. Instant death to fall in the water. He was weighed down by the 14 kilos of crack cocaine. Alright. This time they only have 33. Yeah. So there's, there's, a, there's a procedural element to uh, determining how much crack is on the streets. Or I suppose it could be powder. Like, they might have been thinking of it as powder. It would not contextually make sense. For the dirty street drug of the... Uh, if you have the rights to this, you should probably get in touch with someone who knows. You got it. You got... Okay. okay. I was just trying to... Oh, man. So this game is mostly things... <laughs> Jeez. Jason Statham, no Susanna. I'd watch it. Oh, yeah. Look at, I will definitely watch... You don't even have to get Jason Statham. If they make an Operation Clean Streets uh, feature film in the year of our Lord 2024, I'm there. You didn't get it. And I feel like there's just no chance his body stays there if you accidentally leave the screen. Come on. There you go. There, there you go. All right, they're down to 24 kilos. Just in the, here in this most critical... Oh, this is not the most critical screen. I'm surprised we haven't seen a beat-em-up character who is clearly supposed to be Charles Bronson. Where are, you, where are you going, buddy? Come on! What is this jerk? What is up? Okay, there he goes. Oh, there it is. It's because he knows he's just got nothing. He knows he doesn't have the juice, so he tried to put off the fight as long as he could. Did he drop any drugs? That dude's not even holding! Fuck! Uh... He was just front. Now the issue is I know I have to go around this building now. Like, do you see? Well. I just have to try not to fall off. Yeah, that that's the key. 
as you almost run lengthwise off the pier. <laughs> Much easier than you think, James. Well, you're getting at least some contact with your nine kilos. Get little cuts on your knuckles from beating up people and then you're picking up the crack rock. And... She looks like she has a lot. Hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Nope, I'm not quite on it. There we go. Oh man, you're almost ahead. Okay. okay. Just just carefully, cautiously. And now to the right. Haha! Okay, hey! This is the best song so far. It's the Chinatown song. It's the song. ninja song. Yeah, so like, it's not very good, but it's really interesting. It's a very unique play style. When the when the CRPG addict writes about, in fact, among uh, literally about Silmarils games, now that I think about it, but when he's writing about a. Uh, Banging the table there a little bit. Yeah, they did well with the sign. Like having one part of it is flickering out of sync with the rest. Ah. And they got the little like barber pole thing going. When the CRPG act is re is reviewing French RPGs of this era, I think he's constantly coming back to is the idea that it, it's like they saw a screenshot or like somebody told them about what an RPG is like. But they had never played one, and they didn't have like any real reference, and they just tried to figure it out on their own. That's kind of what this feels like. Okay, I'm ahead. I got more drugs than they do. Sweet. Imagine if they had. Ha! It's a scene. Like you could, you could, you could have played your role more dramatically by going to the other side and crouching until the guy says to get up. I like that there's like, there's a medium kick and a high kick and a low punch and a regular punch. I don't know that any of it matters. Oh, hey. The first instance of two enemies at once, and it comes at a really poor time. Oh, he picked up his friend's, uh... He got the crack. He got the crack. I'm very close to that. You are. We haven't seen health pickups. You gotta be very precise with the crack. you go down on the z-axis at all i'm trying hold on that's as far down on the z-axis as i can go real possibility here that defeating an enemy at the lowest point on the z-axis makes his crack unobtainable hold on and i'm just going to be shocked if that if that's still there when you go back but we'll see I gotta be facing the right direction to walk in. That makes sense. You can't just back into a restaurant back in into a, Can't just back into a dojo. Oh yeah, right. No, nah, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Somebody else has the crack now. The dealer is still ahead. Does it redistribute to another dealer somewhere, maybe? Who knows? Maybe? Maybe the game is just unbeatable now? The I music has ended. Here we go. Oh, Susanna, old friend. So there's just a, the track has a length. It doesn't just loop endlessly. All right. It's hard to walk down. You can't walk directly down. You have to walk diagonally. Weird. There we go. Jesus. So I'm not sure if, like, have we missed a way you could go? 
Or is there just not all that much? I don't think there's that much. Because, like, I don't think you can go indoors. That was a potted plant. Ooh, stab you right in the eyes. I don't know what you're supposed to do besides get killed. Oh. That's it. That's what? not it. How was I not dead from that? Because you just had a little bit of red life left. Yeah, but when the motorcycle hit you, it like took a third of your life. Maybe that's just, maybe it's a percentage based damage. Don't leave that screen. Have you done it again? I not took your guy down on the lowest Z axis point. Come so on. there are some notable shortcomings to this game, but it's also like it's neat. And now the game is on the level. And you're finished. That's how I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> right. So like, okay, okay. It's something. Like, it's something. Here's the thing, James. Is it enough of something for it not to be, to for it to be mid tier? And that's an interesting question. It's a tough call. I think I want to think about it more while we play Mug Smashers. Yes, let's do that. Cause it is. It's trying. And we've played a lot that simply aren't trying. We played lots of games that did not feel like they were trying. Did not feel like they cared like about this, us. It also doesn't feel like we've experienced a lot of where it feels like if the game just tweaked or, or did a little bit better in one or two categories, it would actually be great. It feels like they are just on the wrong foot entirely. But they took the step, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like it was, it, like it's neat to look at. It's a yeah. fun idea to go around non-linearly beating up dudes. There's not a lot of depth to it. It rearranges every time apparently that you load it up, but like within a very constricted field and just the same enemies that have X amount of crack. Uh, so like you can imagine somebody taking this idea and say adding. NPCs and a yes. larger map and and then also like we would want the fighting to be better. There's a lot that could be improved. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really interesting. It was fascinating. I don't know what to expect from this. Mug Smashers. We're going back to the arcades. From Electronic Devices SRL Italy. Yeah. So one of our one of our uh, you know great Italian uh, game development studios. Are the hockeys, of course, the hockeys aren't set up. Why would they be? You thought we were playing computer games. Ding ding. Quarters James. Quarters Greg. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. Whoops, sorry about that. We are not starting soon. No, no. Is it works for me? We have started. Uh, try it. Yep. yep, yours works. Okay, perfect. Okay, and we're back to just turning on the games and then working. Unless this is another one that I didn't actually get working and then just didn't check. <laughs> Very possible. I would not, uh, I'm not ruling it out. Uh, uh, history in that regard is not great. Mug smashes. Looks good. Everything's looking good so far. What's up? Hold on a second. Something. Yeah, what song is this? Oh, whoop. There's a serious threat to the organization. Something, something. Police woman abducted. Police think Mad Dog is wrongful. Sheila, police woman, and Axel's sister has been abducted during her. Jesus, Axel, ex boss of Angel Gangs. Axel is a fighting head to the rescue sister. Miles, a formidable fighter, and Axel's best friend, Miles, is teaming with Axel to eliminate Mad Dog. Mad Dog, Mad Dog, an illegal drug and all this traffic, and Mad Dog is vulnerable to the kidnapping of Okay. There's the. Okay, control. walk. Punch. <laughs> Jump. Jump. Kick. 
Long jump. Okay. Kick. Okay. Cool. I think we probably ought to do this machine specific input configuration. Yeah, so we're we'll looking at an A, B, and a C button, yeah? Alright, so first, let's verify. Nope. Okay. Sorry, Greg. Switch controllers? Yeah, do okay, so. Uh -oh. I will definitely want to fix that. Okay. So I don't control your up? Yeah, so we are sharing control of my up, and then I'll just, I'm just gonna do it the exact way that it looked there. Yep. That makes sense. Okay, and then your preferred button one. Button two. Button three. What? Oh yeah, that makes sense. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. I really like the music, actually. <laughs> Alright, this is it. Put a bunch of coins in. Oh no! Too bodacious. It's just me and you gotta join me. Yeah, here we go. Okay. What is the, what song is this? This is a specific song that they've stolen. Oh, it costs yeah. you. It costs you life when you hit me. I was certainly expecting that. It doesn't cost you Ooh, life. It okay, doesn't cost you throws. life to do. It just costs you life when you hit me. We got big, goofy, cartoonish sprites. Kind of a unique style. I like it. Oh, ripped up the fire extinguisher and threw it. Okay, maybe it just feels feels right. Oh, sweet. I did a cinch. How did I do that? Yeah, this guy. This uh, Axel, Alex, what's his name? Uh, Axel. Axel. He's a real uh, goofy looking. Oh my God, I've got a gun. <laughs> And I look so cool when I'm shooting. <laughs> so casual. Ooh, don't shoot me, please. Sorry. I oh, can't jump when you've got a gun. Oh. oh, cool. Have you tried any special moves with your kick button and like directions? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Huh. Whoa! Hi. What did I just do? Ah, oh, I think I just got hit by you after launching my move. Fruit basket. Get this fruit basket. There you go. Just in time. I'll punch down this, this illegal wall someone built. Oh, sweet. And I can take the corner of it. Wow, these guys... This is macho to the point of parody, and I love it. This is really good, actually. This is a fun oh, game. We're fighting big man. He, he goes down easy, like a sack of bricks. Oscar. Yeah, I got the Oscar. Whoa! Got him with the back handspring kick. Take it, big man. Whoa! Took him down. Oh, we're good. Gymnastics training. Stage one cleared. Fight for bonus. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, I see. How are you doing, you top wheel? Uh, for me, that's, I think it's the same thing that you're doing a sweep kick. Yeah, it is. Okay. Like, down corner and... I mean, dude, you got it. Yeah, cool. Well, it looks like you can pull mine back down. 
So quite literally, only one of us gets to heal. We have to fight for the right to heal! Fight for the right to heal. Alright. They've got my sister on the back of the fort. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have taken that coffee, that was probably hell. Yeah, food traditionally is hell. Man, this is really good, actually. This is fun. The kick is slow. You gotta, like, build up the kick. Unless, is your kick fast? No, no, I've got a full, it's like a big ram. Yeah, there's a big build to the kick. Mine's a straight kick, but I really wind up with it. Oh, uh, I had another dude. Okay, yeah, we have two lives each. Oh man! You have a I have a blunderbuss! <laughs> Boomerang! Hey! Look at this clan! Andre the Giant if he had no charisma. Kill hey, he's just a regular enemy. He's not any kind of big man. Oh, the music is stolen from Combat Tribes. That would explain why it was familiar. And there is kind of, There is... You, you can see how there's Combat Tribes influence here. There's Combat Tribes energy. Except this feels more like parody. It feels more focused than the Combat Tribes. Pretty basic elevator segment, but it was an elevator. I don't know that I've noticed any enemy difference besides that some of them have weapons. You pick a Ooh, gun! Yeah. Bang! 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 Damn! Yeah, there is there's no mistaking the period of this, even though this was a 1990 game. It's absolutely an 80s angle. Oh man, man alive is it ever. It's fun though! This, this song yeah. to this! That makes it enjoyable! It's got a night nice, like, there's not much of a move set, but there's a move set, and they do do slightly different things. Even if it's not, like, most of these enemies you can defeat by going towards them and punching them. Yeah. It's got some personality. The sprites are, are lively. Like, they're big, but they have, like, a somewhat unique cartoonish style. Like, it's not a straight ripoff of the combat tribes there. Even no. if, I think the closest sprite style we've seen to this was the combat tribes. Like, in terms of before. Oh, the fighting Batman! Oh man, this is not the red man that I remember. Yeah. Where's, where's the comical double axe? Na, 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 na. Why, why not have him say that? I, besides the fact that that song doesn't exist yet for you to rip <laughs> It would be incredible if they did. Can you imagine if we discovered that this is where Red Man got his whole gimmick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. They go to the, we get to the oh. interstitial screens. Is it a plus? They're in there, there. 
Uh, I think it is the flux. But... <laughs> you get the interstitial digital screens and just straight up lines from how high. <laughs> Oh, cool. A different... Oh. Once they're smashed, smash the new one. Oh, wait. But they can be smashed more. Oh, no. But you can't scroll back to the left. Well, we didn't know. We were getting some help. <laughs> we can walk off the screen, <laughs> but it doesn't care. It's like, no, you have time left. You will wait. Telegraph Hill. We're taking an elevator there. <laughs> oh, I held that guy up against the wall somehow. How did I do that? Was it actually just the... Because the way you grab them normally from the front, you like pick them up by the waist. At least my guy does. I pick them up by the neck. Oh, wow. <laughs> He was a ton of personality. It has that's not exactly what it is. Like, it's all personality. It's not revealing new depths. <laughs> uh, like this level is not appreciably a different play experience than the first level. No. But it's fun. And nice to just have like you know, some fluid action again. Yeah, that's true. The games we're gonna play were not okay. exactly. Some of these guys I am grabbing in the like, choke slam style. Yeah, what is what I don't understand. Some of them I'm grabbing by the waist. I don't know if I'm doing different grabs. Because there are a surprising number of moves. Oh. Well, we do have a jump. <laughs> Wait, are you on your fifth quarter? Uh, oh, I hit quarter a bunch of times when I didn't have any... Ah, uh, you're like, probably on your third. I'm on my third, yeah. Okay. Whoa. So now we've got these terrifying bald triplets who are doing a Vincent the Dolphin. Get the one that separated. The weak. Yet lives. I think I'm gonna say it That bullet shot three people. Yeah, I mean, point blank range is not possible. He's a Joker-inspired street thug. With a flamethrower. Yeah. That's how he gets the nickname Fireman. But yes, he's definitely using the Joker's color palette. Holy smokes. His health bar is... He okay, there it goes. Damn! It's, it's, it's amping the uh, difficulty. I just realized now that this this uh this oh. setup, this uh this this the visual HUD very street fighter. Yeah. With the big time in the middle there and the big and the way I health claws up a trade with our little faces next to it. Or Mortal Kombat more you even more than street fighter. Well it's definitely not a, it can't be inspired by Mortal Kombat, which doesn't exist. I was noticing, t I was going to comment on how I like that we're on a street that's going not the way we're walking. Yeah. You can see the streetcar lines. 
even better when a streetcar came and yeah, picked us up. That was cool. On. This is a lovely game. Oh, sweet. This is great. I don't know if this is supposed to be rhythm or speed. No, it's speed. I've never been good at rapidly tapping the buttons to go, like track and field games, not my forte. So close, so close, so close, so close. Ah. Oh. I, I got, yeah, I just, des I deserved that. Ugh. All right, this is a really fun game. I like that they're transporting Axel's sister by a different <laughs> means at the start of the game. They put, like, there's just a, like, a lot of care seems to have gone into this, despite the fact that they were just cheerfully ripping off other established games and, like, not really trying to bring anything new to the table. But nonetheless, <laughs> that doesn't mean we should cut corners on craft. <laughs> I was just randomly ducks. Did you notice that? The ducks that run across the bottom of the screen? Yeah, I did notice that. Just there he is. There he goes. Not even the bottom. They're running through the field. Watch it. Well, they do. They do very. They do, they they telegraph it. Yeah. It was my own fault for not noticing it the first time. Well, the first time it was hidden under like a wall or something. It yeah, was yeah, really yeah. Carrying, too. It did sort of just look like a ditch as well. It didn't look like it would be infinite abyss. It was just a crack in the street. I feel like that we're fighting like 90% sailors on this level because we're on the uh, oh, docks. The sailors were on the docks. From my understanding. That is accurate. Sorry, that was for me. Okay. Oh, boom. Getting stabby. Who are the guys with the military fatigues and the, the hoods? I don't know. The military? With black hoods? Like executioners? Yeah, they're a death school. Oop, oop. Gun! Harpoon gun? Indeed! It's a harpoon gun. Good eye, Greg. <laughs> Oh man, dude ran in with a bomb and then it blew up on him in a cartoon and showed up. First part I own the tire Trying to get that over your head, <laughs> which is probably an open screen plan. <laughs> but I did get the guys on the other side of you. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, 
Kunja. You can tell this is the one we're enjoying the most because we're talking the least soon. Yeah. And I, well, that, like, I'm having fun, but I'm not gonna pretend this is giving me a lot to say. No, this Easy not. Man! There's a. Oh, wow. Easy Man is terrifying. It's very well defined to me. Ooh. Ooh! Big overhead swings. No, oh, never mind. My quarter wasn't registering in front of me. There it is. Shoo! Hit me? Easy man hits hard. Easy man does hit hard. <laughs> Famously, that's what they say about Easy Man. <laughs> Oof! My running punch worked. Oh, what cost? 25 cents. Dang. I wouldn't say we're getting into quarter munching territory yet, but. Well, maybe we are actually. That took over half my health. This is one kick. Hey! Thing is, his attacks are very avoidable. It's true. I was trying to switch to cartwheeling the ice, but apparently we only have access to punching. Hey! We both got full health. So this seems to be the sign of the final stretch. Finally just put her in a car. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of enemy designs, but they really blew through them all on the first level. They did, yeah. They really wanted... I don't think they wanted to save anything for the, for the sprint home, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, there's a kip-up attack. When you get back up, you get a hit on the guys next to Yeah, I'm not clear on the distinction between when you pick them up like a sack of potatoes and when you choke them. Wow, I just got destroyed by these bales that you just completely avoided by standing over the head. Yeah. I will say, player one seems to completely control the screen. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely not trying to balance it. They went with the simplest possible screen. What would it have done if I wasn't playing? <laughs> I think I would just have defaulted me to play. I'm not sure what it is, but you're a scoring machine. What? So I'm not sure what it is, but you're a scoring machine. Like I've been trying to catch up to your score, and I even I overtook you a few minutes ago after being behind the whole game. I get in and I punch, man. I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah, I just I don't know. It wasn't obvious to me that you were getting more dudes. Ah. Into the sewers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a post that was actually fantastic. Boss, you'll never, you'll never believe it. I got beat up by these mutant turtles. Well, at least there's, there's no shame in getting beaten up by a bunch of adult mutant turtles. <laughs> oh, no, boss. I saw that. <laughs> You got a boomerang. The boomerang, for some reason, you, you, you 
throw a jump. You throw a jump, yeah. There must be some sort of programming reason for that. Well, they just wanted you to still be allowed to punch. Man, the trajectory! Like, there can't be a thing where it's like, we just couldn't get the boomerang to work with the punch. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Sometimes programming is, uh... It's an odd move in that science. <laughs> It's more like cooking and jazz. Yeah, more like cooking than baking. Yeah, yeah, you could have gone with two forms of I went with two examples of things that are less programmatic. <laughs> more like cooking than jazz. Try to make that into a set. What would that possibly mean? It's exactly as you said. It's yeah. It's one off from the side. It's a jazz is not the, it's, it's not the science either. Nope. <laughs> Giant dude here in a farmer hat. Yeah, hat man. Well, what else would he <laughs> Yeah, be? it's the first thing that stands out about him. He's it's Kum Lao. I thought you said Mortal Kombat didn't exist. Yeah, I know. So like, oh, cool. When we're game over, he goes back to see the. Damn, his hat attack does a lot of damage. His normal attack does And his hat attack. This guy is. Yeah. So. So, uh. Hit back on the screen, buddy. John Tobias. Uh, they owe an apology to the folks at SRL Electronic Devices Inc. Stealing the iconic character from that. From Hatman. Yeah. The iconic character Hatman. You got him. That's got it. Him. This has got to be the end now. Yeah, we're in Chinatown. This is the end. We made it. Let's finish this up. Watch an egg. I like that the boomerang comes back, but your guy does not catch it. I don't know. 
I like that the the traffic sign says don't walk. Road up. Oh, jump over this. Yeah. Of course, it's a hazard sign. Haha. <laughs> Get up, fools. Boom. Oh shit! Oh, he's got yellow trunks now. Yellow single. But, uh, yeah, like. What was Carrie Ann calling the single the other day? Oh, a penny! I was trying to remember the name for a penny, and she was like, a singlet? And I was like, I'm pretty sure they didn't make it for singlets in gym class. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to donate what TV you were on. That would have been a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh man, those school singlets would smell so bad. <laughs> no, the pennies already smelled bad, and yeah. now they were mesh. How is that even possible? Well, I do not think that there was a one-to-one -one use to wash ratio. <laughs> Oh, look at him. He doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> oh, he picked away! Ah. <laughs> oh, great. I avoided it. Last possible second. You've overtaken these points. Have you done anything different? Uh, just absolute dedication to grabbing every single thing and getting as many kills as I can. Oh, the kills are important. I think the trophies and shit. I think I was just picking those up. That, that's how you got way out ahead of me at the yeah. start. Was you were just on the point like this. Toasting over and over. I've never been to. No, that's not actually true. There used to be a family restaurant that was a, uh, a dining establishment that was very much in the style that my family would eat at frequently. Uh, and one day we stopped going, and I think it's because of the they badly poisoned my uncle. Oof. Uh, that's not there. You I don't think. Did your family have the good Chinese food restaurant growing up? Uh, because my no. dad was obsessed. He was unwilling to get Chinese food if it was not from one place. We got Chinese food from a place called the Garden View, which was colloquially referred to as the Gag and Spew. <laughs> so why are we? Why are we here? <laughs> No, there was growing up there was one there was one Chinese food restaurant and one food restaurant. If you wanted to get hit from anywhere else, it was just against the law. Oh. The one pizza place was also a place that could rent on these. Way after most of the rental places closed. Wow. Although they did stop getting new movies. That's wild. There, I mean, th th that is not a, that's not an aspect of my childhood memories. The death of the rental market. 
No, the rental market lived into your college years. Yeah. Electronic devices. Which is the company. Name of the company, yep. But also a thing that could be in a box. Yep. They weren't going to break the immersion of their users to give themselves a chance. Handman! Okay, Handman. Let's not. Let's not and say we did, Handman. Oh, man. He just wants to get you with his gigantic hand. I will say, this: the yellow pale aspect is, is not great. Well, I mean... These... This guy's not particularly healthy. Is that saving him in your mind, James? I mean, it, listen, it's not great. I'm not saying it's great. Back. He's not taking damage. I think it's just, I think the way it's been with these bosses is they have, they, yeah, oh yeah, they have, they they have, have like a buffer. Like how in other beat ups they would have multiple colors of, of health bar. I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I had him, but then I didn't. Damn. Damn, hand man. Come on, man. Adam Handman Page. Adam Handman Page. Very nice. Okay, on, hand, hand. <laughs> yeah. He's good at switching, man. It's hard to get on both sides of him. Yeah. It's a classic beat em up strategy and it's just not working. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 you got him, you got him, you got him. Yeah, there it is. Thanks for playing, hand man. And then Big Man! Oh, it's a boss rush. Possibly just Big Man again. I won't call it a box rush until we've seen. Yeah, okay. we'll call boss rush once uh, Easy Man shows up. Red yeah, man. yeah, it's a boss rush. It's a boss rush. Do you think we'll have to fight Hand Man again? I would not be surprised. We just fought him. Yeah, but now we're in the boss rush room. Hello. Hey, Abra. Bye, man. Hey, Abra. You got a lot to say, Abra. James is just making sure Abra is not eating anything important. Yeah, she's playing with the gloomy box. It seems like it. Come on, fireman, lose some hit points. There, there he goes. goes. The most annoying tactic is just staying off screen. Yeah. There's a lot of scroll to the screen, though, and remember, you have control. I'm getting WhatsApp voice calls from, from the person who I do not know. I'm not sure why they do that. Or maybe I know them and they're wondering why is the chain thing up there? <laughs> But I don't think that's true. Oh, wait, wait. Kill an Hazy Man this Ooh, time. Sorry, Hazy Man. Why are you apologizing to Hazy Man? He doesn't need your apology. Yeah. He knows it's all the game. Two ends. I didn't notice that. It's, it's a German surname. Hotman. 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 God, Hotman. There we go. Now I got him. Dead. Boom, boom, boom. Get a few good hits on that. That man's skinnier than he looks. 
Yeah. Because he's always sucking in air for his big blow attack. It's retaining air. <laughs> Handman's back. Damn. But he's already taking damage. You think it'll just end, or do you think a, a true final guy will come in? Boss man. Oh yeah. That, I'm not even gonna try to make my own prediction. That seems too reasonable. <laughs> God, get on screen, Handman! Yeah, the screen scroll, not great. Oh, shit. We are going overtime. Well, we did pack our agenda. We did, yeah. Okay, so we should settle now. Operation Clean Street slash Manhattan Dealers. Mid tier? Like it's obviously extreme lower mid tier, but yeah. I think it. I think I. Here's where we get back to the complication of battle toads being like, I buy the case for it on the goon tier, but then it does have those first two and a half levels. So whenever I try to think like mid tier means better than battle toads, I think like I don't know. And yet, like, oh, kind man. of the special quality of the goon Mad Dog! Had... Oh, oh, right, 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 right. We've been From told the this. We were told Mad Dog. Mad Dog's like a kingpin if he was like an aristocratic English man. Yeah. This thing is just having a gun, which you can't deny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, 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 this He's talk... making no pretense of being a better fighter than us. Certainly a better shot. And that he can hold on to his gun for more than like six bullets. Yeah. Damn, and just to get shot. Oh man. Oh yeah, I forgot we could do that. It actually now that now that I tried it all. Now that I think <gasps> this move would have made every boss fight trivially easy. Yeah, well, at the cost of our health. But yeah. not enough health to not make it much smarter than actually fighting. Congratulations, you have one of the best seven. Oh, wow, we can enter our full names, but we do not have much time to do so. Come on, James. I'm going to do it. So, okay, what do you think? Is clean streets, is it mid-tier, is it goon tier? It's not goon tier. Okay, mid-tier. I think we'll go mid. All right, mid-tier. But it's like, it, it gets points for trying. Congratulations! Congratulations. You defeated Mad Dog. Turn him into the police. And finally, she lives free. We didn't take a gag off, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna gag you, sis. I am gonna carry you in an uncomfortably romantic way. <laughs> Hi! Hey, man, can I carry your sister for a minute? Shut up, Miles. No! Quit looking at my sister, Miles. Bruno Lacini. You gonna take, you gonna take a Zini. gag off it? Oh, this was an authentic Italian game. Renato oh, yeah. Fennacci. <laughs> okay, so James, how about... Fabio time? Veronese. Well, actually, first of all, this game. Marco Mid Di Nuno. <laughs> Mid-tier or boss-tier? Uh, Mid-tier. This is not Mid -tier? a boss-tier yeah. game. It's very fun though. It's it's. I'd rank it. I, very I fun. It's not near the bottom of it. It's 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 no. approaching the top third. But sure. like, it's very likable and colorful, and bright, fun enough to play. I appreciate that they put some moves in there. It's not very much to the gameplay, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh... I like that she was a policewoman, even though. And she carries the dossier with her at all times, so kidnapping her solves the evidence problem. Yeah. Oh, San Francisco. All right, Jim. Set in San Let's Francisco. Let's very quickly go through the uh, the closing moments here because we have run over time. Uh, oh, we're well over time. Sure. Okay, so, hey, we added one to the goon tier one and two to the mid tier today. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good. Three games down. I am kind of curious, Greg, so I'm sorry. Just hold on one second. <laughs> James, come on. Hold on. I got a, I got a thing that I'm doing here. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five off of this. There are only 80 games left to go. Great. Before we played every beat em up through 1993. So check it out. Come Friday, Friday Night Frost Haven with my lady love, Danielle, and the player two slot. Uh, we'll be picking up the ice flow scenario and getting right down to business in the third round of that scenario. Come Saturday. What if everything you've ever been taught was wrong? What if everything you always believed was just a lie? What if King's Quest VIII, Mask of Eternity, is pretty good? So far. So far. <laughs> you don't I'm know. I'm having fun. The turn might be coming, James. There could be a turn coming, but so far, I'll say, like, and I'm not going to try to sugarcoat that the controls are atrocious. The the tank navigation of Connor, Sir Connor, is, or, he's not Sir Connor, he's just some dude. Uh, it's not good. And yet the game is a lot of fun. I don't know that it was the direction for the King's Quest series. I can understand why people at the time were mad when told, like, this is what King's Quest is. Because <laughs> it's like saying, hey, weren't you stupid for liking those first seven games? But it's cool. we got to give it that. And we'll see if it keeps staying cool as I make my way into the Dimension of Death. Quest for Glory 5, Dragon Fire on Sunday, continuing the theme of Sierra in the late 90s. I enjoyed Session 1 with that game more than Session 2, because Session 2, I started doing the rights of rulership, and I completed the first one, and then got the second one, and attempted the second one, and both of them are just go-to location on map, fight big mob of enemies. It's a little flat for Quest for Glory, mm -hmm. but the world is charming. It's certainly nicer to look at than King's Quest Mask of Eternity. I'm invested in the story, both the local story of Quest for Glory 5 and also the five-game saga that I'm seeing to an end here. So we're going to keep going and hopefully have some more fun. And before you know it, it's going to be Tuesday again, and we'll be back here beating them up into the 90s. I guess we'll go year by year from here on out. Yeah. So I think we have mostly... We have mostly... 1990 games to play here. I want to take that uh, thing off there. There you go. There we go. Yeah, Ninja Combat, the Ninja Kids. Ninja Combat is another game by Alpha Denshi Kogioko Limited. So we're excited for that. Hey, bud. Is uh, that a garbage can? Should we have a, in there? Nope. We've got a Genesis game. Get out of the waste paper basket, Abra. We have a <laughs> we have a Genesis game. Two Game Boy games, but we're gonna that's a theme yeah, episode. Yeah, we'll do a so theme episode. next week it looks like we have Ninja Combat, the Ninja Kids, and Generals of the Young family. Uh, so we'll see how that's going. And that's the story. Right. From here to eternity. Quite literally. But there's only 80 games to go. Take us home, Greg. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sticking around for the end. Please follow us down below. Subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, or subscribe to Twitch. James is offering 30 days of conditional love. But it's only conditional on you having the subscription. Yeah. And remember, until next time, violence is never the answer. Except in video games. Bye-bye. Fare thee well.